Global Sisters Report would like to congratulate LCWR's Lifetime Achievement Award honorees. Sister Amada Miller, an Immaculate Heart of Mary Sister of Monroe, Michigan, for her passionate teaching of economics through a social justice prism. Sister Helen Prejean, a Sister of St. Joseph, for her tireless efforts to end the death penalty. And a sister particularly close to us, Sister Joyce Meyer, a sister of the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, who so joyously weaves connections to help form a global sisterhood. Sisters are entrepreneurs. They're creative. They, took the go they take the gospel seriously where Jesus says, go out to the ends of the earth to uh, spread the gospel. And that's what they do. In the most remote areas of Africa, Asia, Latin America, any place on the globe, you will find sisters uh, working with the poorest of the poor. From the small town of Wilmar, Minnesota, where she was one of 12 students in a country school, Joyce grew up to embrace the world. She was the eldest of six children and in entered religious life with the PBVM sisters in South Dakota at age 17. She was initially a teacher, earned a degree in theology, and wrote about the spirituality of her congregation and its foundress, Nano Nagel. Always interested in international service, she moved to Zambia in 1981 to teach English at a secretarial school, and later served as secretary for the Zambia Association of Sisterhoods. Eager to develop local sisters, she made sure a Zambian sister replaced her when she left the country after five years, returning to South Dakota to serve in community leadership, including eight years as president. Her horizons expanded in 1999 when, at age 58, she joined the Conrad N. Hilton Fund for Sisters, which provides grants for sisters' projects worldwide. The United Nations Millennium Goals, released in 2000, provided a framework to expand the fund's reach. Joyce traveled to more than 50 countries to visit projects and encourage sisters to apply for grants. Her engaging smile and delight in learning about other customs and cultures won her friends around the world. A book, Seeds of Hope, was produced about particularly notable ministries by sisters. In 2009, Joyce joined the board of directors of the Conrad N. Hilton Foundation, whose Catholic Sisters Initiative funds larger projects. She was approached that year by Tom Fox, then publisher of National Catholic Reporter, who wanted to expand NCR's coverage of sisters. Initial funding from both the fund and the foundation gave rise to a larger idea, a website publication focused on Catholic sisters. She and Tom traveled to Uganda, Kenya, and Rome. Global Sisters Report launched in April 2014. Joyce's vast network helps put the global in Global Sisters Report. More than 340 sisters from more than 45 countries, plus associates and oblates, have written for GSR. Joyce and Sister Michelle Morick, GSR's other sister liaison, work with sisters to help tell their stories. Joyce has now traveled to 57 countries and counting, and has certainly enjoyed the adventures along the way.